Injecting insulin to manage your diabetes? Did you know that injecting insulin correctly is important to receive the full benefits of the medication? Today, we are going to cover the basics of how to inject insulin with a pen and pen needle. For today's demonstration, we will be using a 4 mm contoured base pen needle, which is the needle length recommended for people injecting insulin. The pen needle consists of an outer cover, an inner needle shield, a needle, and a peel tab that provides a sterility seal. First, gather all your supplies on a flat surface. You will need your insulin pen, pen needle, alcohol swabs, and a sharps container. To attach a new pen needle, start by pulling the cap off the pen and setting it aside. Wipe the rubber seal at the end of the pen with an alcohol swab. Pull the peel tab off the pen needle. Hold the pen horizontally and attach the pen needle straight onto the end of the pen and screw on tight. Once you feel a little resistance, stop twisting. There is no need to over tighten. Pull off the outer cover and set it aside. You may need it later to remove the pen needle. Remove the inner needle shield to expose the needle. It is important that you remove both the outer cover and the inner needle shield before injection. If both are not removed before use, the medication will not be injected, which can result in serious injury or death. Once the inner needle shield is removed, discard. Before giving an injection, you will need to prime the pen. For most insulin pens, rotate the dial on the pen until two units is displayed in the dose window. Hold the pen pointing upward and press the dose button down with your thumb to inject into the air. You should see a small drop of liquid at the needle tip. If no liquid is present, dial an additional two units and repeat the priming step. If you still do not see insulin, change the pen needle and repeat the priming step. After priming the needle, make sure to dial to the dose prescribed by your healthcare professional. Next, choose an injection site. The recommended injection sites are the abdomen, thigh, buttock, and upper arm. Be sure to rotate between and within injection sites and ensure injections are always at least a finger's width apart. Once the injection site has been selected, disinfect the skin with an alcohol swab. Since we are using a four millimeter pen needle, the use of a pinch-up technique is not recommended for most people. However, those using a needle longer than five millimeters, as well as children six years old and younger and very thin adults may require a pinch-up technique. Grip the pen in the palm of your hand. In one continuous motion, insert the needle into the skin at a 90 degree angle. Then, press and hold down the pen's injection button to administer the dose, holding for up to 10 seconds to ensure the entire dose has entered your body. To recap the needle, place the outer cover on a flat surface. Then, using one hand, gently push the pen needle directly down into the outer cover. Unscrew the pen needle from the pen. Safely dispose of the pen needle immediately in an appropriate sharps container based on local regulations. Remember, an insulin pen should not be shared. And while an insulin pen is designed for multiple uses, a pen needle should only be used once. Reusing the same needle has been associated with increased injection pain and risk of developing unhealthy tissue at the injection site. We hope you found this demonstration helpful. Remember, proper injection technique is important to receive the full benefits of insulin therapy today and in the long term.